Leader of Third Party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I believe we are all in agreement in this House that building a new paradigm in this province must be done. Uh, a new paradigm for forest management in this province must be done in full partnership with Indigenous peoples. Part of this is recognizing the fact that the status quo of old growth logging is currently happening without the consent of many Indigenous peoples in our province. I'd like to quote Dorothy Hunt, Chief and Counsel, Kwagyoth First Nation, who has some very powerful words to say about what's happening in her territory. Quote, the Kwagyoth First Nation is not opposed to logging, but we have had a ban on old growth logging in our territory for over 10 years. Yet new logging approvals continue to move forward without meaningful consultation and consent. We ask this government for deferrals in all remaining old growth in our territory more than five months ago. And yet we still see new old growth logging being approved in our salmon bearing watersheds. Recently, Western forest products logged right into our salmon spawning rivers. Through you, Honourable Speaker, to the Minister of Forest, Lands, Natural Resource Operations, Kwagyoth Nation would like to know, will the Minister give a directive to Western Forest Products and Regional District staff to stop violating our rights, title and Douglas Treaty and defer old growth logging so that we can begin having much needed government to government conversations? Minister of Forest, Lands and Natural Resource Operations. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and our government is strongly committed to implementing the 14 recommendations from the Old Growth Report. And the first report, of course, is to engage the full involvement of Indigenous leaders and organizations, and our ministry is doing that. And I would be happy to reach out to the member and to the to the. Um, to the leader, to the chief, and, and talk to them about their issues because we know how important this work is. It's, it's our, the number one recommendation from the report is one that we take very seriously, and it is to engage the full involvement of Indigenous leaders, and I would be happy to talk to them about this. Leader of Third Party. <laughs> Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, I. I, I guess I'm struggling with what strongly committed to the recommendations really means coming from this minister and this government, given that we've missed the first important deadline on deferrals of old growth that need protection. And now we're hearing from Indigenous communities that have indeed not been consulted with. This is Chief Randy Cook, Makwala of the Ma'amtagila First Nation. He says, and I quote, Collaboration between First Nations governments will be key to moving forward. BC timber sales continues to high grade and target ancient, culturally significant red and yellow cedar old growth forests in Ma'amtagila territory in both the Great Bear Rainforest and on Vancouver Island. He has a question, Honourable Speaker, to the Minister of Forest Lands and Natural Resource Operations. He asks, Will the minister tell BC timber sales to cease all logging of old growth forests to show that BC is a leader in ending the unethical practice of old growth logging? And please, could you start with my territory where BC timber sales and companies like Lamar Lake Logging are destroying culturally modified trees and the last of our sacred trees of life, the great cedar tree? Minister of Forests. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And there are thousands of hectares, <coughs> excuse me, of protected old growth trees across BC. Uh, there's in Clayquot Sound, there's 170,000 hectares. Crystalline Creek, there's over 9,900 hectares. There's almost 600 hectares in Quisum. In Compaloo Valley has 5,000 hectares, and I could go on. There are hundreds of thousands of hectares of old growth forests that have been protected, and we are committed to working with Indigenous governments on additional areas of old growth deferrals and protections. All of the protections, all of the deferrals that were done in September were done with direct consultation, with direct discussions, to government to government with Indigenous governments. And we will have also protected old growth trees through Together for Wildlife and modernized land use plans. And we continue 
to defer logging to, to support the caribou conservation work, which was done in consultation and support of Indigenous nations, protection for spotted owls, again, in con consultation with uh, Indigenous nations, and protecting the marble murrelet and northern goshawk recovery plans. Minister Speaker, paradigm shifts take time. And we will work with all our partners, including the government to government discussions with Indigenous nations to make sure that we get this right.